हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम निर्मला मोराडे फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स एस वी के टी कॉलेज देवली कैंप नासिक इफ यू रिमेंबर इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी स्टडीड एग्जांपल्स यूजिंग फुमनीज थ्योरम सो वी नो दैट देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ रीजन और एनी प्लेन रीजन कैन बी एक्सप्रेस आई टाइप वन और टाइप टू एंड फुमनीज थियरम से इज दैट डबल इंटीग्रल ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई over the region r can be written as double integral of f of xy dy dx where y is from g1x to g2x and x is from a to b or same can be written as double integral of f of xy dx dy where x varies from say h1 y to h2 y and y varies from c to d this is a fubnis theorem where f is continuous on the plane region so last lecture we studied examples using this one but uh, in some times uh, Uh, solving the double integral by using the cartesian coordinate it becomes difficult so instead of this we we may be use the polar coordinates so in today's lecture we will see how to change the double integral in terms of the polar coordinates that is solve the double integral by using the polar coordinates so first we will see what is the relation between the cartesian coordinate and polar coordinate uh, then how to convert the double integral in terms of polar coordinates so after watching this video students are able to know what is the relation between the polar coordinates and the cartesian coordinates and students are able to solve the problems by using the polar coordinates so now our first point is the relation between polar and cartesian coordinate so consider a two dimensional plane or xy plane here suppose uh, p is any point in xy plane with cartesian coordinates xy it is also called as a rectangular coordinates and with polar coordinates r and theta so now for that we draw first a perpendicular from point p on x axis so we know that this distance say this perpendicular is pm so this distance is equals to the y coordinate of the point and distance of the point m from the origin is the x coordinate of the point so the first polar coordinate is r which is the distance of the point op from the origin that is the first polar coordinate is op that is equals to r and the second polar coordinate is theta which is the angle between positive direction of x axis and the ray op so in this right angle triangle so first we have to find cos theta so cos theta equals to the adjacent side upon the hypotenuse that is x upon r so from this equation we get x equals to r cos theta also in the in this right angle triangle find sin theta so sin theta is equals to the opposite side upon hypotenuse that is uh, y upon r so we get here y is equals to r sin theta okay so here we express xy in terms of r theta similarly this distance op is equals to by distance formula square root of x square plus 
y square. So, op is equals to r. So, we get here r is equals to op that is equals to x square plus y square. Squaring this, we will get here r square equals to x square plus y square. So, these three equations. First is x equals to r cos theta. Second is y equals to r sin theta. And this one r square equals to x square plus y square gives the relation between x, y and r theta. So, remember these three equations that are useful while solving the problems of double integral by using the polar coordinates. So, the polar coordinates while solving the problems of double integral sometimes the problems becomes complicated. Uh, especially suppose we want to find the double integral of the given function or the given region r and r is either semicircle, circle or the region between the two concentric circles like this one. So, suppose we want to evaluate the double integral by using this type of the region, then the uh, description of r uh, is complicated uh, in terms of the rectangular coordinate compared to the polar coordinate. That is in polar coordinate, r is easily described uh, or it is easy to calculate the double integral by using the polar coordinate. So now, uh, suppose this equation of this circle is x square plus y square is equals to 1. Then this r is described as r is equals to set of all x, y such that x square plus y square is less than equal 1. That is it contains all the points inside and on the circle. And suppose we want to express the same region, same region using the polar coordinate, then it can be written as in this form. It is the set of all ordered pair r theta such that your radius, it varies from 0 to 1. That is 0 is less than equal, r is less than equal 1 and theta is lies between 0 and 2 pi because of whole circle. So, remember here to describe this region using polar coordinate, we always draw a strip like this one from origin. So, at the end of this strip, we take r equals to 0 and here r is equals to radius of the corresponding circle here 1. So, r is 1 and now this strip is varies from positive x axis to negative uh, again positive uh, x axis that is complete one complete rotation and that is why the angle theta is lies between 0 and 2 pi that is 0 is less than equal theta is less than equal 2 pi. Similarly, suppose I consider this is uh, x square plus y square is equals to 4 this is one equation of this circle and equation of this second circle is suppose x square plus y square is equals to 1. That is this uh, shaded region is the region between the two concentric circle above the x axis. So, this second region can be expressed as r is equals to set of all x y such that y is greater than equal 0 and x square plus y square is lies between 1 and 4 is lies between 1 and 4. So, suppose the same region can be expressed in terms of the polar coordinate as it is the set of all r theta such that here again draw a strip, again we draw a strip. Now, this is our shaded region, this is a required region. So, now here check the value of r which is 1 and here the value of r is equals to 2, the radius of the corresponding circle. So, here r varies from 0 to 2 and now this strip to cover hold the region, this strip is starting from the positive x direction and it moves to the up to the negative x direction and that is why the limit for theta is from 0 to pi. So, the region r is described as r theta 
r lies between 1 and 2 that is 1 is less than r is less than equal to and 0 is less than theta is less than equal pi. So to evaluate the given integration by using to evaluate the given integration by using polar coordinate uh, like such a region r then the integration becomes simpler one. So these are the two special type of uh, polar rectangle. So now polar rectangle can be written in this form. So we consider the polar rectangle. It can be described as R equals to set of all order pair R and theta such that A is less than equal R is less than equal B and say for theta uh, alpha is less than equal theta is less than equal beta. Uh, this is known as a poral rectangle. Now see its figure how it look like. So this is a polar rectangle R. Here R is equals to A. Here R is equals to B. This ray is theta equals to alpha. And this ray is equals to theta equals to beta. So this region is known as the polar rectangle. Now next part is we will see what is the formula uh, for the double integral by using the polar coordinate if the region is polar rectangle. change to polar coordinate. In double integral. So the theorem says that or the result says that if function f of x y is continuous on on polar rectangle. If function f of x y is continuous on polar rectangle which is described as set of all r theta such that a is less than equal r is less than equal b and alpha is less than equal theta is less than equal say beta uh, with the one condition is here the condition is uh, the difference of uh, beta and alpha should be greater than equal 0 and it is less than equal 2 pi that is 0 is less than equal beta minus alpha is less than equal 2 pi. Then the double integral of f of x y or the given region r can be written as f of r cos theta comma r sin theta r dr d theta where r is from a to b and theta is from alpha to beta. So this is an important result which convert the uh, double integral in terms of the polar coordinate. Again see what is the result. If f of x y that is given function is continuous on the polar rectangle R which is described as set of all order pair R theta such that A is less than equal R is less than equal B and alpha is less than equal theta is less than equal beta with the condition 
zero is less than equal beta minus alpha is less than equal to pi. Then the double integral of f of x y over the region R can be written as double integration R cos theta R sin theta R d R d theta where R is from A to B and alpha is from theta is from alpha to beta. So remember in this formula we convert uh, the double integral into the polar coordinate by writing x equals to r cos theta, y equals to r sin theta and replace dA by dA by r dr d theta. Also we write the limits of integration in terms of r and theta. So okay, remember this part. Suppose we write the integration in terms of the polar coordinate, we replace x by r cos theta y by r sin theta dA or uh, sometimes it may be written as dx dy dA or dx dy is replaced by r dr d theta and write the limits for the integration in terms of r dr theta. So don't forget to add this term to the right hand side of this formula it is very important. Okay. So our next point is now we will see the uh, one example by using uh, the polar coordinate, how to solve the problems by using polar coordinates. Evaluate double integral of double integral of 3x plus 4y square over the region R where R is the region in the half plane bounded by the circles So this is our problem. Now we want to solve this problem by using polar coordinates. Again see what is the problem. Evaluate double integral 3x 4y square over the region R where R is the region in the upper half plane bounded by the circles x square plus y square equals to 1 and x square plus y square is equals to 4. Now first part of the problem is we have to draw the region. So now so for that we draw the circles uh, see the first circle it's this is our first circle x square plus y square equals to 4 that is circle with radius 4 uh, again draw the inner circle so equation of this circle is x square plus y square is equals to 1 okay so what is the region r is the region in the upper half plane upper half plane means above the x axis and uh, which is bounded by these two circles that is uh, our region is nothing but this shaded region or So this is the region R. 
So now first we have to express this region R in terms of the polar coordinate. So for that draw a strip like this. We draw a strip like this. Okay. So now uh, consider the value of R where this strip enters the region. So this is the point or this is the region where the strip enters the point. This strip enters the point or we can uh, so write the value of R where small r where it enters the given region or the region R. So here the value of R that is the radius of this small circle is 1 and write the value of R where this strip leaves the region that is this circle so its radius is equals to 2. So the value of small r is from 1 to 2 and similarly if you see the region it covers the first and second quadrant that is this strip is moved from it moves from positive x axis to the negative x axis up to this one that is it covers whole this area and so for that the angle of rotation is 0 to pi. So our region r can be written as in terms of polar coordinate it is set of r theta such as that r is uh, 1 is less than equal r is less than equal to and uh, theta 0 is less than equal theta is less than equal pi. So region covers the first and second quadrant that's why theta lies between or it is 0 is less than equal theta is less than equal pi. Okay, so this is our limit. Now write the formula and now just put the values. So here the given integration 3x plus 4y square uh, we write dA over the region R. Okay, now I rub this figure here first. So this can be expressed as double integration. R is from 1 to 2 and theta is from 0 to pi. Mm, next it's uh, we replace here. X is replaced by R cos theta. Y is replaced by R sin theta. DA is replaced by R dr d theta and we write the limits in terms of r and theta. So we have already write the limits in terms of r theta. Our second point is we replace, keep this 3 as it is, x is replaced by r cos theta because of polar coordinates. So it is a r cos theta plus 4 as it is, y replaced by r sin theta. So r sin theta bracket square so, okay, this one is complete and dr is replaced by r dr d theta. Okay, our next point is so now just uh, integrate this. So, now first here limits are constants for r as well as the theta. So, we can integrate this first with respect to r and then theta or uh, you can be integrate with respect to theta first and then r. The result will be same. So now first we have to integrate this with respect to uh, r and then with respect to theta. So this can be written as integration theta is from 0 to pi keep as it is r is from 1 to 2. I just uh, uh, solve this bracket first multiply each term by r so it can be written as 3 times r square cos theta plus 4 times r square and this r square with this r it becomes r cube sin square theta integrate first with respect to r and then we have to integrate the result with respect to theta so okay understood so here first we multiply or solve this bracket multiply this r inside the bracket so it becomes 3 r square cos theta plus 4 r square and this r is r cube sin square theta dr first integrate with respect to r and then we integrate with respect to theta. So this is same as 
theta is equals to 0 to pi. So now write its integration here 3 cos theta is total constant integrate with respect to r. So integration of r is r square is r cube by 3 plus here 4 sin square theta is constant integration of r cube is r raised to 4 by 4. So r raised to 4 by 4. Now we have, we have to put upper and the lower limit. So right here lower limit r equals to 1 and upper limit r is equals to 2. Now our part is just we have to simplify all this one by one. Okay. So this is same as uh, we denote this given integration by i. So i is equals to this i is equals to keep this term as it is theta is from 0 to pi. Theta is from 0 to pi. This 3, 3 gets cancel here 4, 4 gets cancel. Now we first put the upper limit that is 2. So replace r by 2 first. So I keep cos theta as it is and uh, put the upper limit uh, r is equals to 2 that is 2 cube and uh, minus simultaneously we put the lower limit r is equals to 1 that is 1 cube. So next part plus sin square theta as it is. Now there is r raised to 4, put the upper limit. Now this is valid in case of polynomial that is in case of r. So I put first upper limit uh, r is equals to 2. So r raised to 4 that is 2 raised to 4 minus 1 raised to 4. So d theta is as it is. So here I just put the upper limit as well as the lower limit for the r. So this is same as integration theta is from 0 to pi. This cos theta as it is uh, 3 cube is 8 that is solve this one we get 7 cos theta plus similarly if you solve this 16 minus 1 is 15 uh, sin square theta. So actually when we integrate sin square theta or cos square, square theta, we express it in terms of the cos 2 theta. So the formula for sin square theta is 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2. So when we integrate sin square theta, we always write in this form. And different integrate with respect to theta. So this is same as. So now just we integrate with respect to theta term by term. So the integration of first term here 7 is constant. Integration of cos theta is a sin theta. So we write here sin theta. Uh, limits for theta is from 0 to pi. Plus now here uh, 15 by 2 is constant term. So we write this term as it is. So go for this one. The integration of 1 which is a theta minus the integration of cos again cos 2 theta integration of cos is sin. So integration of cos 2 theta is sin 2 theta uh, divided by this 2 and uh, limits for theta is from 0 to pi. So now here we put upper limit minus lower limit keep 7 as it is sin pi upper limit minus sin 0 plus this 15 by 2 as it is again here put theta equals to pi first so pi minus sin 2 pi upon 2 we put the upper limit and then minus limit Always use the bracket when uh, you put the lower limit if there are more than two terms are there. So I replace theta by 0 minus sin 0 upon 2. So now just simplify this term. So as we know that the value of sin pi as well as sin 0 both are 0. So this first term becomes 0. So no need to write this one. This is whole 0. 
प्लस फिफ्टीन बाई टू एज इट इज वैल्यू ऑफ पा एज इट इज अगेन वैल्यू ऑफ साइन टू पा इज अगेन जीरो सो दिस टर्म डी बिकम जीरो सो ओनली पा इज रिमेनिंग एंड माइनस माइनस अगेन द वैल्यू ऑफ साइन जीरो इज जीरो सो दिस ब्रैकेट ऑल्सो बिकम्स जीरो सो द ओनली इज पाय सो अवर आंसर इज फिफ्टीन पाय बाय टू सो डेफिनेटली द मेथड ऑफ चेंज और द चेंज टू द पोलर कॉर्डिनेट इज डबल इंटीग्रल इज इजिएस्ट कंपेयर टू डायरेक्टली सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम्स बाय यूजिंग कार्टिशियन कॉर्डिनेट इन केस ऑफ सम स्पेशल रीजन्स लाइक सर्कल और द रीजन बिटवीन द टू कॉन्सेंट्रिक सर्कल्स एक्सेप्ट so let us summarize today's lecture now in today's lecture uh, we have studied what is the relation between the polar and cartesian coordinate so if p is a point with cartesian coordinate x y and polar coordinate r theta then they are related with the equations x equals to r cos theta y is equals to r sin theta and r square equals to x square plus y square so remember these three equations they are important while solving the problems of double integral uh, next uh, uh, we studied the how to change the double integral in double integral in terms of the polar coordinate so for that the given function should be continuous in rectangular polar rectangle so polar rectangle is given by r theta where r is lies between a and b that is a less than equal r is less than equal b and alpha is less than equal theta is less than equal b if the given function of two variable is continuous on this pair polar rectangle and uh, beta minus alpha is greater than equal 0 with the uh, and uh, less than equal 2 pi then the double integral of the function f of x y or the given region r can be written as double integral of f so to write or to convert this integral into polar coordinate we replace x equals to r cos theta we replace x equals to r cos theta y equals to r sin theta remember sometimes here dx uh, dy also given so da or uh, dx dy this is replaced by r dr d theta and write the limits in terms of r and theta so here r is from a to b and theta is from alpha to beta so in today uh, this is the summary of our today's lecture in next lecture we will consider how to convert the double integral uh, using polar coordinates but for more general reasons uh, regions and related examples thank you